When you were born, you never worried about your demands being met. Most of your time was spent just being cute. When you were two, you probably cried to get what you wanted and screamed if it was urgent. You were taught right or wrong and good or bad. From there came the yearnings and conditions. Something out there will make you happy. Something out there is making you upset. They say that lack of love is responsible for most of the unhappiness in the world. In part, that's true. However, the other part that creates unhappiness is the pursuit of what we think we want and the pursuit of what we think we need. Forgetting that most of what we need is within, we instead yearn for things we want, compare ourselves to others, and thrive on validation. Things we like are good, things we don't like are bad, and these simplified, unchallenged judgments or beliefs may limit our experiences and growth. To mold life into our image of how it should be, we often have to manipulate people and situations. In essence, much of our anxiety comes from our addictions not being satisfied by a person, an event, or life. We either blame ourselves for not being worthy, blame others for not giving what we want, or blame life for being unfair. This mindset leads to anger, resentment, and suffering, not only to ourselves, but to others around us. You know the story of the man who scolded his friend? And the friend went home and fought with his wife. The wife then spanked her child. The child then kicked the cat, and the cat then peed on the carpet. Common sense says, program your addictive demands into a preference. Stop putting energy into things you cannot change. Experience true freedom by ridding fear from your life. And common sense asks, must we deserve love or earn love to have love? Can we emotionally accept everything in the here and now? Can we be fulfilled in just being? In every moment, we can choose to do something or not do something. The result and reaction depends on our mental and physical wellness. As you can see, our mental wellness may not be as healthy as we thought. And dare we say a person is, you know, mentally ill? <laughs>